on tonight, isn't that, darling? Did they go away? What happened, honey? <laughs> Just a little jealous, are you, of the old cover? A woman your age lying on the, on the floor saying, oh, hello, hello. <laughs> Think you were the only cover girl in town. Do you know I'm a cover girl? I'm surprised, but probably yes. Oh, and if you say you are, if you dare say, who's that other man on the cover? I <laughs> will not. You look fabulous in white. <laughs> I am the one in the pink jacket. I just, I just <laughs> you look fabulous in white. It was just... <laughs> Don't start with me. Don't throw my cover around. You're so jealous. You, I asked you to come on tonight and look glamorous and look what you showed up in. I am so... <laughs> Understated is a lot classier than all the uh, stuff hanging out all of the well, it's just ridiculous and little tassels on everything. Can you get them all going in opposite directions? I'm <laughs> oh, a major me. fan. <laughs> hey, you look wonderful. Now, you can see yourself, seriously, sir, because you're on a cover. Not a major publication, but nonetheless... Not a major uh, publication. For your dogs, I tell you, that's a very major publication. <laughs> for your career, though, that's a good story. Now... <laughs> Winning dog of of elk hounds. That that young Norwegian elk hound. You know how those Swedish girls and Nordic girls are. And I mean, she's just a real. Good, so I'm in good company. Not out there by myself, lying there saying, "Hi, I'm just a kid." <laughs> it's funny because people wanted me topless, but I said no. And oh, weren't you? I think so hard to tell. <laughs> be funny on a date if you ever have one. <laughs> Listen, I don't find a G-spot hard to find at all. It's a cinch. I mean, any guy that touches me, I say, oh, gee. <laughs> date a lot. What, what do you consider? Oh. I do. Every time I, I see you, I see you at restaurants, and I see you at very good-looking men, very sophisticated. What's Most your... of them are the waiters and the cats. No, 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 no. What do you consider? First of all, do you consider yourself serious? I'm all serious. Do you consider yourself glamorous? Well, you mean seriously? Seri well, not serious. No, but I mean, I mean, you want a straight answer to yes. that? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, glamorous I, again, I think understatement. I think a, I think a little class goes a long way, honey. And I'll, I will try to. You tried to help Susan, <laughs> poor baby. <laughs> and I could help you if I uh, if I could. If, I, I think a little understatement. I think just sort of. <laughs> Where once in a while, just shut the flannel mouth and smile mysteriously. <laughs> Be mysterious. Yeah, that's very hard. Oh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> do you on a date? Do you do you shut up? Do you let the man take over? Yes, yes, until we get in the car. <laughs> I remember just until the door slams, I think I'm going to be very quiet tonight and smile, and he'll wonder what I'm thinking, and then pretty soon I'm saying, and another thing that happened today, the dog ran across, it doesn't work. What about in restaurants? Do you let men order for you in restaurants? Yes, yes. I, oh. I went, for six months I went with a fellow that ordered every meal that we had, he ordered, and I only found one thing I didn't like, and that was fried crabs, fried spiders, so, those soft shells. Mm. But uh, those that was the only thing. And otherwise than that, I'd have been ordering filet forever. <laughs> yeah. so, and so you, you like to be like hand -cat. So you like to be, well, Susan said too, she'd like a man to like be macho and take her off somewhere. Would you like that to be hand picked by a man and that's it? Mm, sounds good to me. Oh, sure. <laughs> no, sure. no, I like to be, yeah, I like to be babied. I, I was spoiled for 18 years, almost 18 years, and I like it. I like it a lot. And, uh, I, I mean, I'm, I'm amenable to suggestions, and I, I'm not too old to change, and I'm clean and neat around the house. <laughs> and you're very sophisticated and attractive, not like me, but for a I'll woman your age, true. you're really doing so well. <laughs> hey, just, we'll be right back after this commercial, so please stay tuned. <laughs> we are back. Betty White. Oh, oh, from cover girl, well, uh, Joan Rivers. I almost lost your name there. For <laughs> um, well, we'll just keep reminding you. Just watch the show. Uh, let me ask you, because you, you were going out now in your day. What happens when a, get, a man makes a pass at you and you don't want it? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Just say it again. I just like to hear it. <laughs> when well, you I... go out on a date. And he makes a pass. Yes. 
Well, I wag my tail and I lick his hand a lot. And I just, you know, he's just, I, no, he doesn't do that. I usually make him, you know, I, if it's somebody I really don't want to make the pass, yes. I, well, if you make a joke, you know, and pretty soon the heavy breathing slows down and he doesn't, <laughs> he stops, you know, and it, it kind of loses the moment if you, if you laugh him out of it, yeah. kind of. Because now I, with dating with you, it's so, what turns you on turns you off for the man? Turns me on almost anything. No, I like a man with a sense of humor. I really like a man with a sense of humor. And somebody who doesn't have a sense of humor about himself turns me on. Yeah. Mm. Or the guys that come on with the, down to the bare chest, down to here, you know, and the, all the gold chains. And I, this must be in because I saw it in the in the last catalog. Yeah. You know, that doesn't do a thing for me. What about you, Susan? What what traits turn you on? What traits turn you off? Well, I absolutely a sense of humor. I, I've got to turns you off. Turns me on. Definitely turns me on. I love a man that has a sense of humor about life and about himself, like mm -hmm. Betty said. And someone who's very secure in who he is. I, that really turns me on. That it doesn't matter what other people do or say. He's secure with who he is. He's not intimidated. What turns me off? Just the opposite. Just the opposite. <laughs> what about you, David? <sighs> uh, what turns me off is <laughs> <laughs> I don't like when when someone says you're cute. You're so cute. Yeah, <laughs> that's what turns me off. See, I don't like when you have uh, sort of bent over backwards to perform more sexual positions than <laughs> Julia Child does with a chicken. <laughs> <laughs> and when you're finished, someone looks at you and goes, oh, well, that's cute. Uh, I don't like that. Cute is what turns me off the most. Yeah. And what turns you on as a man? Everything else. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us about your work with Doris Day, because I promised that I would mention that you're working with Doris Day. On, and the I'm not right. working with Doris. Doris lives up in Carmel, and yes. I have a house up in Carmel, and we had, now you know Doris is animal-oriented. Yes. Oh. And and th Doris and I had lunch, finally after threatening to do this for two years, Doris and I had lunch at the Pebble, Pebble Beach Lodge, and we talked and talked and talked. It was about 2.30 in the afternoon. We were the only people left in the room, except a couple over in the corner, this, broad with, uh, this lady with the tall leopard hat. And Doris, there was a little kitty went by, and so Doris went ripping out to pet the kitty, and as soon as Doris got back, I went ripping out to pet the kitty. Well, we got back, and this woman took off on us. She said, do you know, if you encourage those cats, well, they'll be in the room with you. Well, how would you like that? Doris said, I'd love it. You know, it'd be <laughs> wonderful. And she said, well, we had 22 cats on our property in Sacramento, and Jack here shot them all. <laughs> Doris says, who shot your hat? <laughs> and it was, can you imagine getting Doris Day and Betty White at the same table and carrying on that? kind of a conversation. I just couldn't I'm believe it. Idiot. Well, we didn't. She never made it out of the dining room alive. I think she, uh, they skinned her and put her in front of the fireplace. <laughs> <laughs> when did you start working with pets? When did you start working with animals? In the womb. I really, I really was long before I, I was born. My folks were the same way. I just finished a book, and I'm so excited. It's about the human companion animal bond, uh -huh. and it'll be out in October, and I've been working my tail off. Everybody says, how come animals? Why not people? And the whole book is about how you can't separate them, the, the things that animals do for us. And yeah, I, love, I, love, I love dogs. They're not my best friends, though. No, no. <laughs> well, you I cannot be best friends with someone that drinks out of a toilet. I mean, it, <laughs> <laughs> Right. Shelly, isn't it Shelly Winters who says, never have anything that eats? Never have anything that eats. Children, Children and dogs, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I almost did, but I'm never going to do them again. I almost did Elizabeth Taylor joke, right. but I just controlled myself. That's oh, all. you yes. see? Now, no more, no more, no more. My last Elizabeth Taylor joke ever. Mosquitoes look at her and go, buffet! And that's it. <laughs> commercial.